So I built one of these visibility and visibility areas. Let's take a look at area 29. You're still not finished. Area 28. Okay, you are finished. So I need visibility, invisibility, and camera. And then the fin. Okay, gotcha. Just had to refresh my memory. It's been like forever since <laughs> we built a uh, buildable. And it looks like I lost my stream. Did I lose my stream? I lost my stream. Bear with me, y'all. Let me get my phone reset. Yeah, it's it's, it's gonna. It's a really, really, really crappy Wi-Fi day. Let me just jump back to my stream. I didn't catch anything in chat, so you all have to type it all back in. All right, let me reset my phone. Let's wait for you all to come back in. I do apologize. Like I said, my computer's been disconnecting itself from the Wi-Fi all morning. I have no idea why. There's nothing pending. But it is a super, super crappy Wi-Fi day. Farm Chick, I did not catch. If you come back, I did not catch comments from earlier. No, because they got wiped out when I went to, uh, when my <clears throat> internet reset itself. All right, so we have visibility. Oh crap! I'm gonna, I still have that wrong. So we have area. So I have to move these again. So you, let me duplicate this one. Okay, so you become visibility. You become invisibility. Um, Gamer Paul 22, hello. Sorry all about the internet. It's like super crap today. So now we go edit cut. You have to go into here. And then you have to go into here. Alright, now we're sort of set up. <clears throat> Paul, Gamer Paul, yeah. It's like the third time already that my computers disconnected itself from the Wi-Fi this morning. Alright, so we're going to rearrange these a little bit. So we're going to start off with Dollar General. We're also going to pull in like three more buildings, if I can remember which ones they are. I'm going to pull Coles in. Uh, I'm going to go to Edit Cut and paste you become coals right, I'm gonna again I'm just gonna pile everything in here and we'll figure out the placement soon hillbilly 359 I'm doing well the internet sucks today or actually my computer sucks today it keeps disconnecting itself from the Wi-Fi but I am doing well we're, we're gonna be banging this map out I'm hoping in like 10 to 14 days ready for testing. We are also going to bring in uh, is it Diner 2? No, the cafe. Want the cafe. So we're going to go edit, cut, and paste. So we should have a little cafe to deal with. And then file, import, what was the other one I brought in this morning? Taco Bell. And so that's going to come up here as well. So let's go edit, cut, and paste. We're going to build a little shopping center here. And we're going to make it a buildable shopping center. So it's going to take us a couple, little bit to get this built and this, this square finished. So we get this square finished, then we just have the main square to finish, and then this little square to finish, and then the top of the mountain, other than this area here, which I have something planned for this area here, the top of the mountain will be done. And then we only have 
this little area down here on the bottom of the mountain to finish up. And then all the little details like railroad crossings and the rest of the global company functions. Carolyn 98, hello. Queen Chris, good morning. Uh, what is the procedure for downloading? Look, I'm going to become famous again. Uh, what is the procedure for downloading? Which, what are you trying to download? about the hollow map. All right, let me jump into... Now this may disconnect me from the Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi has been crap today, but let me jump into Trello. Which is hollow. Okay. So if you go to the Trello board and again, I'm hoping this doesn't disconnect me from the Wi-Fi. All right, so when you go to the Trello board, yeah, I must have a Windows update or something running in the background because this isn't even loading. All right, yeah, so what you need, this is the Ritchieville map. So you click on the card, and then you click on the link, and it'll bring you the link to download. So this is the Ritchieville map. This is the hollow map. Just click on the card. You have to remember to scroll down in each column. Each column works independently of each other. And then we have the islands map and then this custom geo can be used on all three maps. So anything, you, any, any one of these three maps, in order for it to work properly, you need everything from this column. So you need the required mod pack, you need the auto load trailer pack, you need the placeable silo pack, you need the vehicle pack, the construction mod pack, the assorted placeable pack, and the animal pen pack. So whenever you download a map from this column, you need everything in this column to make these three maps work. Now this column is just a homestead map, so if you want homestead everything from this column, if you want the prairie map, it's everything from this column. And then this column are all the optional placeable factories. So everything in this column will work on Ritchieville, Ritchie Hollow, or Ritchie Islands maps. And they're all individual downloads, every one of these factories. So that is how the Trello board works. But I appreciate everybody stopping in this morning. Old Man Farming, hello. Again, I do apologize, the Wi-Fi, my, dis my computer's disconnecting itself from the Wi-Fi about three or four times already today. So if I disconnect again, I do apologize. All right, let's see how we want to set this strip mall up. So let's grab Coles first. I'm going to move Dollar General over, I think. So let's grab Coles first. Let's get Coles facing this side road. And I'm going to pull it back a little bit off the road. We're going to get it down to earth. So we will have a Coles. And I'm going to get it off the road so we have room for parking and a sidewalk. Um, Caroline did that. Can I put the files in, in a separate... You can keep the Ritchieville map, the Ritchie's Hollow map, and the Ritchie's Island maps all in the same mods folder. Because they all use the same mods. The Homestead map should be in its different mods in a separate mods folder the prairie map should be in a separate mods folder. But since Ritchieville, Ritchie Hollow, and Ritchie Island share all the same files, they can all be put in the same mods folder. All right, so I'm gonna st we'll stick coals about here. We'll leave parking 
all the way around it. Now, Dollar General, so this building, I'm going to slide out of my way for a minute. The strip mall. Now, do I want to put the strip mall against Kohl's or behind Kohl's? I think I'm going to start it here. Or do I want to leave side parking for Kohl's? Let me see how this spaces out. I think I want to leave what do we have back here. Now let's pull this this way. So let's pull this over. You're going to come back this way. That'll give me plenty of room for parking. So this is going to come down. Does that not have a collision on it? It does have a collision on it. Alright. So we'll stick that there. Now I'm going to grab... Let's come back down here. Power plant, I can close. Nursing home, I can close. That I'm using as a guide. All right. So now we grab the Dollar General building itself. Do I have to unzip these zip files? Game is not. Yeah. The very first file that you download, you have to unzip. And then everything else inside, you have to, has to stay zipped. Because if you unzip the map, all the files um, overwrite each other. So the very first file you download has to be unzipped, and it'll tell you to unzip. So the title of the file will actually tell you to, uh, whether it needs to be unzipped or not. It should say, like, unzip first. I know. Dollar General, okay, it's signed. I should be able to move it signed separately. Now, what else did I have over here? We have a little cafe, and we have... So, the, let's grab Taco Bell first. We're going to spin this to 90. Let's get it pretty much lined up with this one. And then I'm going to slide it down... So about here, and we're going to grab this little cafe, and this little cafe is going to come up. Um, old Man Farming, I love to play Richie's Prairie, great map, thank you. Yeah, that's that was a fun map to build. I'm actually playing that map myself. That's the only map I'm actually playing besides my, the Richieville map that I'm specifically recording for. YouTube, but I don't play that one at all off camera. Alright, yeah, I want to spread these apart a little bit so we can get some parking in, we can get some drive throughs in. And that'll fill up this square on the map. Can't wait to play that map. This one is going to be very, very tough to play because about you're only going to have the only sell point you're going to have available is Walmart. Walmart's going to have very low prices. So if you want, let's say you want to sell um, wheat, well, none of Richie's is going to have the better price, but it's not built. So you're going to have to actually build none of Richie's in order to get the better price. And that's going to be the same with like every sell point on the map. Like you're going to get a really crappy price until you build the better sell point. And then about half the fields and half the forests have to be built. There's probably like 40 buildables on this map. Like the town squares have to be built. The apartment complex has to be built. A um, bunch of the fields have to be built. Every single railroad silo has to be built in order for you to use them. So it's going to be a very, very difficult map to play because you're going to have to get Mammoth Mill up and running, the drywall factory up and running, the glue factory up and running, all your construction mods are going to have to be up and running, like Anderson and Pennington. So you're going to have to get like all of your construction buildings up and running before you can even build anything on the map. So it should be really fun. 
It's going to be really difficult, but it should be really fun. All right, so that's going to be where I want these positioned. I might pull coals back a little bit further off the street. Let's see what we have in the way of a grass strip and a parking lot. Yeah, I think I'm going to pull this back a little bit further. So let's grab, let's pull this in a little bit closer to the donut shop. I want to grab Dollar General. Yeah, I want to pull this back a little bit further. So you're going to go there. You're going to go here. And then we're going to pull this down a little bit. You're going to go like there. Yeah, it's going to give me a lot more room. All right. So let's grab, uh, let's grab our plate texture. And then we'll start our, we'll make a road around it because there will be a cell point back here at some point. But let me get the front parking lot started. And figure out where it's going to go. So I want to leave a grass strip along the road. So this can come out a little bit further. I want to leave room back that out. I want to leave room for like trees. Yeah, that should be good. I don't want to go any closer to the road than this. Disrespectful to old men. Uh-oh. Oh, sounds like PV country. Um... Hey, it is what it is. It's all I'm going to say. I've been working on this map for a year, so. And I don't want to get too close to the road on this side either. So I think we're going to end it about here. No, couldn't tell you when PV Country came out because I don't watch any of his streams. I don't want to give this too big of a parking lot. I'm going to leave a grassy area here. So let's square this up. Yeah, it should give us enough room to drive through there. I want to do like a little feature or put something here on the corner. Not promoting, just making a statement. I'm not even going to go there today. We're not going to go there. Uh, yeah, we're going to need a road coming around back for a cell point. Yep, the only th I'm not going to go there. The only thing I'm going to say is this map's been well over a year in the making. some dumpsters and stuff in the back. We'll have the cell point in the back. Maybe even park some trailers back here. 
Yeah, let me just square this up. Fill this back in. Uh, I just play the game trying to get Richie working because I got bored with the other. <laughs> yeah, unzip the first file, put everything else from your mods folder inside of the first zip file, and you'll be fine. All right, so that should take care of, we'll do parking, lighting. I've got a little feature I'm gonna put here. And then we have a little coffee shop. And again, it's gonna need like a little drive-through window. And it's gonna have a little front parking. And I'm going to leave a big grassy area, but I think I'm going to tie it into this parking lot. So you'll have to come over from this parking lot. And then we'll go Taco Bell. And we'll do, again, it's going to have a drive-through. So they can share this parking lot. Be a drive-through. It'll have a little bit of parking. And then it's going to have its own driveway coming out. out to the main road, oh, too far, out to the main road. Here, all right, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Can I put a folder in the mods folder and put the Richie files in it? Um, you... I... Well, most people use a mods folder switcher. I don't know if his new one is compatible with my maps or not, so I can't tell you if it works or not. I have an old version of a mods folder switcher that I use. So what you may have to do is make separate mods folders for each one of your maps inside of your main mods and then just swap them out if you play different maps. So yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to help you out with different mods folder switchers. Right, so that's going to be the basic layout. We'll get some parking in here. Let's see if we can't get these signs. Yeah, pulled out to the road. So Dollar General. Throw that sign about here. And what do we have? Taco Bell. I'm hoping your sign is separate than the building. 
I think it is. So I can slay I can slide you out of the road. And then it's top. Oh uh, yeah, so this guy oh crap, that was the whole sign. Alright, hold on, let me back that out. Let me grab the entire sign. Alright, can I pull the whole sign? Yeah, I can pull the whole sign out. Alright. So you're going to come out to about there. So that takes care of that sign. I don't think this sign is a separate... I think this is all part of one building. Okay, why can't I click on this building. All right, let's close that. Alright, Dollar General Cafe. Oh, yeah, you're the cafe. Is your sign separate? No, you're all one. You're all one piece. Yeah, I can't separate that sign from the building. All right, so you're going to have to stay there. We can make a sign for Coles. We don't have one, but we can make one. Uh, do I want a sign for Coles? Now nah, we'll leave Coles like it is. Yeah, Carolyn, sorry. Um, I think there's a YouTube video on how to use a mods folder switcher. Alright, let me do a quick save on this since I have the basic layout done. Hillbilly, thanks for helping out. I'm biting my tug tongue when it comes to TV. Got your brother. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> I, I want to jump into uh, let me sort by name. I want to jump into. Where is the House of Wax? This guy, a minute. Yeah, I want to grab... Uh, is it this guy? Yeah, I want to grab this guy. Um, I'll go flower ring. I may even throw my car back on top of it. Shall we throw the truck on it? Let's throw the truck on it. Now nah, there's too many um now nah, there's too many texture files. We'll just grab the file the flower ring. 
right, let's check the texture paths. Textures are good. All right. So now let's bring in, let's go file, import our flower ring. Come back up here. Let's, so let's go edit, cut, and paste. And that almost falls right where I want it. So you're going to go here on the corner. And we may even put a little water feature around it. And then you're going to go down. I'm going to put one more down here. about centered here. Yeah, I'll put this here. Yeah, my maps cannot be in the same mods folders with any PV maps because they do conflict with each other. Really, my maps with any any kind of factory map will conflict with each other. All right, now let's work on, let's grab parking next. So let's come over here. I'm going to grab, yeah, let's come over here. Let's grab one of these. Let me duplicate that. And let's go back down here. Let's go edit, cut, and paste. I got a front parking lot. Let's grab one of the side parking lots. And we'll duplicate that. And we'll come back down here. And we'll go uh, edit, Cut and paste. All right, so that gets me my two parking lots. So now, actually, I'm going to take the side one and drag it off to the side a minute. Yeah, you can sit there for a minute. All right, front parking. How do we want to run these? So if we have a, I think we're going to go this way. We have a road coming in this way. Leave room to drive through here. Leave room to drive. That'll work. So if we go handicap, we'll go handicap and then we'll go side parking. Let's line you up with this one. Are they different sizes? Crap, they're different sizes. Do the parking lines line up? Now, if I make you the same size, do the stripes line up? No, now they're too wide. All right, let me get rid of this side parking. I swear I had a front parking and a side parking that were the same width. Let me grab... This one looks... where I had side parking and front parking the same width. Let me grab this one. These are smaller. Let me try this one. Let me duplicate that one. And let's come down here. And let's go edit. Uh, paste. Uh, let me see if that one's any different. If I 
turn you to minus 90. Um, Dixieland, no, not really, but I'm trying to get some stuff done while I don't feel too bad. So Dixieland is in the house. Do I need to make another video on how to download the maps and mods? We do. We need to get it uploaded to um, the YouTube channel so we can reference it. Yeah, if we're going to scale this one down a little bit. I think I can get these. This one might be able to get this one to work. Let's try and get the parking lines matched up. Yeah, screw it. We're going to go with all handicap. I ain't messing with it. We'll just grab this one. This way I know they're the same size. Let's just turn you to zero. We'll line you up there, leave room for a park in, or a street light in the middle. Let's bring you down. Can I get three rows in here? I uh, will try. We will try. If we have to extend it out a little bit further. Oh, that works. Then we can still have room to drive through to this parking lot over here. All right. So throw some side parking in. Here. I still have room to drive around. Now I may pull this back in a little bit further. I'm going to pull that back in a little bit further. So let's get some parking for Dollar General and the strip mall. Yeah, about here. And I'll center you here a little bit. Can I? Now we'll just do one right about there. And I'm going to pull this back. So we're going to go back to where we are. Let's go to grass. This is going to get pulled back. Dixie, I can record a video, edit it, and render it, and then upload it to YouTube on the how to use the Trello board. And let's pull this back. Pretty much to like here, I think. Yeah. And we'll get this pulled back. Yeah, that's going to be much better. Now let's grab a parking lot for... What do we want? Okay, I know what I want to do down here, I think. Let's bring one down. We'll figure it out. Actually, we can go like right there. So we'll go one parking for... Uh, here, I know what I could do. Let's put you about here. Can I get another one? No, because it's not going to let me room to drive around the back of the building. I can... Oh, I know what we can do. Let me delete that one. This one, we're going to spin this way. 
We're going to bring you to the edge of the parking lot, but we're going to change the drive. No, I can't change that. Yeah, we'll make you drive around it. So we can throw, let's throw one here. And I can throw another one, yeah, over here. That'll work. So that'll get us our park in there. We'll have a drive through for Taco Bell. And then we'll have, we'll have to make some trailers, put some trailers back here. Now we will have a cell point back here at some point. So I'm thinking maybe the cell point right here. So we'll have to grab some trailers. Uh, well, I was thinking with the stolen copies, yeah, peeps are going to need their right, yeah. Yeah, there are several stolen copies of Ritchieville and um, the Prairie Map floating around on various modding sites, and I think I know who did it, but I'm gonna, again, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. And the only reason they stole it and uploaded it to various mod sites because they put it on their own share mods account and they're getting paid per upload. Where I don't get paid for any uploads or downloads of my map. So whoever stole the copy, I, I'm almost positive I know who is getting paid for every upload. All right, so this is gonna be our basic layout. Let's grab, what do I want to come in next? Let's grab our lights. So let me grab a light pole. And we'll duplicate this guy. And we'll go, come down here, close dominoes. Now we go edit, cut, and paste. All right, so now we have our light pole. And we'll get a light pole sort of in the middle of the parking lot here. One there. I'll throw one there we'll throw one there Let's get one on this corner over here grab one right on the corner here and we're going to need lighting out back for unloading trucks let's pull one back to this corner And I'll throw one over here on this corner. Pull it. I can pull it back a little bit further. I'll get one in that corner. Get some up here for this parking. Let's throw one there. Throw one about there. Now, does this building have a drive up window? It does. Perfect. All 
Ah, so lighting's in place. I'm going to do another quick save. Um, Papa Smurf is working on a 64x map where Richie's Prairie's in the middle, and I think the Wild West surrounds the map. But its I know it's not ready for release. I know they're working on it. At least last time I talked to Pop a couple days ago, um, they were still working on it. Let this save. Now I'm also going to need a spot to drop off supplies to make this build. Let me see how I have it over here. Oh, no, I know. We don't need a spot to make a build. We're going to put make a build in a different area. All right. So that's our basic layout for now. Now we still need, need a couple more signs. Man, we'll work on foliage. Uh, parked cars. Let's get them out of the way. All right, let's just come back up top. Let's go splines. Parked cars. All right, so blue is towards the front. So we'll get one car over here at the drive through window. Uh, another car waiting in line. And I'll get some cars across the front. Zero, zero, zero. All right, so about there. And does the coffee shop have like a little drive up window? I don't think it does. It does not. Let's put an employee car like at the back door though. That'll work. Alright, so let's work our way down this way. Get some over by coals. Throw one here on the end. And we'll get a few out front. Uh, 
I like big maps. You play for so long without doing the same thing. Yeah. Gabriel Paul's out of here. Thank you so much for stopping in. Um, Farm Chick Me Too old maps. Maps are the only maps I play now. Plenty of work to keep them going. Yeah, there definitely is. Uh, I don't want to put too many cars here because we're... Again, the more cars I put in, the more has to render into the map. So we're going to spread these cars out a little bit in front of Coles. Throw one there. Bring one down. Coles won't be too busy today. They're not going to get a lot of cars. Get a couple up front over here. The more cars we put in, the more it has to render in. So Coles will not be too busy today. All right. Now, what do we have? Coles, Dollar General are the two big ones. All right. Let's fly over here a minute. Where's my pizza place? Yeah, we're going to grab this trailer. And we're going to go file, export. We're going to go um, trailer, uh, DG for Dollar General. We're going to go file, export, trailer. Uh, Coles. All right, so that'll get us a couple trailers. We have to retexture them. So let's come over to here. And let's open up. Come down to trailer. Trailer coals. And trailer. What happened to trailer DG? What the heck? Did I misspell it? I swear I. I swear I did a trailer DG and a trailer Coles. Trailer Coles. What happened to my trailer DG? Right here, I misspelled it. All right. All right, so now we need probably, let's go up here. Textures. Let's find this guy. And we have to do one for Coles and one for Dollar General. Now, do I have any Dollar General logos already in here? I do not. I don't think I have any Coles logos in here either. I don't. Good old. If I um, if I if you guys get disconnected, I do apologize. I need to jump into Google Images a minute. Wi-Fi has not been the greatest. All right, Coles logo. And let's grab I've never seen this many this many colored coals signs before in my life. You are too big. You 
you I might be able to scale up what else do we have not many to pick from really I want something that's going to show up on the trailer. So this is only for the trailer. Well, I think I'm just going to go with the black sign. That may be too small. That one's too big. That one's too big. That one's too big. Uh, what do we have here? That one's too small. Uh, might go to let me see if I can shrink this one down. I don't know if I can. Don't know if I can. Now let's copy just. Yeah, I just want this part of it. Let's go copy. Can. Actually, I should have made this background black. We're going to change this up a little bit. We're going to go color picker black yeah we're gonna change that up a little bit oh, so let's go file save as coals zero one and we'll come over to here and coals zero one I'll save that I should fix the Coles trailer now we need Dollar General let me back out this so I can just get to a plain white sign all right now let's find so now I want Dollar General logo and I want one that I can stick on the trailer you're too big. I can work with this one. Matter of fact, that may even be the right size. What size are you? Almost. Let's go 512 by 512. And we'll just go. Um, Copy, paste, save as. Uh, let's go DG02. Let me change, let me close this so I don't have a browser open. All right, so you become DG02. And that should be our two trailers fixed. All right, so we'll come back here. We're going to have a cell point back here at some point. All right, let's go close some of the stuff I don't need open. So we're done with splines. Uh, close the spinnery. Close the school. Close. Dominoes. Alright, let's go file, import, trailer, for coals. Uh, edit, cut. 
cut and paste and what do you look like did I mess up your sign yeah you have no sign why do you have no sign because it can't read the texture alright let's delete that out and see what I did wrong why are you not reading the texture what did I I, thought I already closed it um, where's my trailer coals should be K-O-L K-O-H L-S zero one where's my textures Did I misspell it? Most likely. Where is my Coles? Where did, oh, right there. K O H L S 01. K O H L S 01. Oh, new, oh, I, hold on. Textures. Save that, and then I'm gonna have to do the same thing with the other one. Where is my Dollar General trailer? You are just textures. All right, now the trailer should be fixed. Let's try that again. File import. Trailer Coles. Throw it into this transform group. Now let's see what that looks like. Should have a logo on it this time. Yeah, there we go. How are you on height? You gotta come forward a hair. All right, that works. Get some trailers back here. We'll have a cell point over here. Let's go file. Let's bring in the Dollar General truck. General. Let's go this way. Now we'll bring this guy back. And did I mess up the sign or is it going to have a sign? No, it's going to have a sign on it. Alright. Let's throw some of these back here. Alright, so that'll work. We'll have a cell point back in here. Quick check on my stream. I oh, still good. I right, I want now we want some. I'm gonna want to grab this mess. All right, so let's grab one of the fences. I need a fence and a post. I need a fence and a post. So let's duplicate this. Now we'll come down here. We'll go edit, 
cut and paste. And we'll grab a fence post. And we'll do the same thing. Let's go edit, cut, and paste. All right, let's get our that in here. All right, let's grab our fence post. Uh, let's grab our fence. Uh, you're going to go this way to zero. Now you're going to come back. You're going to come back. You're going to come back. And then we take this guy, we'll flip him this way, All right, and then we want the pole. And we'll grab another fence. And then we'll grab this fence. Oh, I need another pole. Need another pole. There we go. Now I can get this fence in place. And then another pole. here let's do the same thing let's pull let's go back to plate oh why am I frozen uh oh that's just not good oh I hit save oh, I'm gonna get out of here soon for an early lunch and then we'll finish this up. If I can come back on this afternoon, and there may be some family events going on today. So I don't know if I'll be back t today or not. But I wanted to get a quick stream in to show you all what progress we made so far. Because yeah, I haven't had breakfast this morning. I've been up since... 6 a.m. And I think I am going to do that. I'm going to throw you all on ending soon. I am going to get out of here for an early lunch. If I do not come back, I'm working on... We got some family stuff going on today. So I ignored the family yesterday. I don't want to completely ignore the family again today. I'll let my stream on my phone catch up here a minute. Uh, appreciate everybody stopping in. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, unfortunately, I do not know if I will be back today or not. But hope everyone has an awesome day. If not, I will see you all tomorrow.